Okay, so here we are in Kandima, Maldives. The newest resort here in Dalu Atoll. This is our main villa. It's a jacuzzi pool beach villa. And we are going inside the island to have a better view. And we are going to restaurant. We are having breakfast. The island itself is pretty big because it's uh, it's uh, I would say one of the biggest islands that I ever been here in the Maldives. Uh, it's around I believe two kilometers or something like that, or even more probably. And inside it's pretty green, I have to say. Here you have all the different villas around and this one is the special future of Kandima. You actually have a bus that is going up and down through the island. As you can see there is a hop-on, hop-off bus service and a bench for waiting for the bus. Which is nice. Of course the bus is not a real bus, it's just a, a buggy. There are a few buggies that are going up and down the island to take the uh, guests to the different parts. Um, it's our fourth day here in Kandima. Um, we are really really enjoying the island. Um, we have... Uh, there is a part that it's more fashion and lifestyle as the concept of the resort has to be and the other one which is in that way till the very end it's actually a jungle so it's a virgin island with beautiful beaches and there's nothing right the resort ends at three quarters i would say of the island hello birdie And here you have all the different uh, beach villas with and without the pool um, you have sunset side and or the inside you have the uh, sunrise side the sea is a bit more rough on the sunset side and here you have an amazing beach we'll show you later on it's amazing it's huge Me and my travel companion, we we called that beach the um, Kantima's Highway because it's huge. It's long and huge. I have an amazing walk over there. You can see the villas are so nice, all inside the vegetation. And so, yes. Let's see until the restaurant and let's see breakfast. How is it? So here we are, we are next to the reception or as they used to call it here, the Kandima's headquarter. Here we have the bus waiting for the guests to arrive and here we are at the reception. It's amazing, the decorations are amazing. There you have the water sports centers, the Aquaholics. And here we are for the reception. Let's see. I love the desks, but even more, uh, I love the logo. Here is the arrival jet team. Where the dream starts. Okay, let's go through that way through the reception one more time.
there's always music on during the public areas. That's because it's a lifestyle resort in a certain way. Here we are, next to the main pool. They still have to open all the, the sofa beds. But it's so cool. This is actually, small information, this is actually the largest, the longest actually, swimming pool in the Maldives. It's super cool during the night. They have like music and DJs. And in certain evenings they make pool parties. It's beautiful. And it's right next to the ocean. Everything is already it's still in setup. Yes, I actually wake up very early in the Maldives to enjoy the, the whole day. Here we are, we'll show it later once it will be all set up and there you have the main restaurant the flavor this bench just reminds me of uh, Switzerland we have the same in the mountain and as you can see the pool is huge if you are a pool fan that's your place actually Here is the bar. And there's something, I think it's actually a bar, a uh, coffee bar, where you can have a espresso or a cappuccino during the day as well. And everyone is taking care of this island so, so nicely. Everything is clean and perfect. Here we are at the main restaurant. Flavor. Let's go inside. Hello, good morning. during the evening. Hot buffet right here. Right there as well. And here at the cold buffet, which looks like a supermarket. It's so cool. Here are the yogurts. And the different cheeses. A lot of fresh fruit, which is so nice. And here, of course, pancakes, waffles, and bread during the evening. I really like this concept. It's new, it's, it's really nice. We're having breakfast outside today and this is the surrounding. Not bad, huh? So now it changes a little bit. <laughs> Finally the sun came out. I believe that this morning was too early. And the setup is complete. As you can see it's so nice. You can 
I should just lay down over there next to you. There's always light music. For a DJ, so it's nice. It's paradox actually, it's not only nice. Just finished breakfast here. Flavor. So I'll try to show you that it's from outside. The studios are like this. So you have the ground floor right here, another room, another room. They share this entrance. Of course, the view on the other side is amazing. Here is another restaurant of this hell. Running before the upper swimming pool. I apologize, I don't remember at the moment the name of this one. I go inside and check immediately. This part of the island is so pretty as well. It's more fancy. But the swimming pool, the colors, combination and everything is so nice. Okay, so here we are in the Street honeymoon. Just wanted to show you around. You got the main room. Oh, and here is the bathroom. Wow. <laughs> Hello, bathroom. How do you call this category? This room. This room? This room is a honeymoon suite. Honeymoon suite, okay. So it was the right name. Have your private bag. And it's in the very end of the overwater villas. private swimming pool and here you are private deck it's directly in the ocean Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a local island. One of the. Uh, then after tsunami, uh, this is a very damaged. Ah, damaged. This island. That's why people moving is uh, other islands. Another different yeah. islands. I see. Yeah. And there, there you have Niyama, right? Yeah, that's that Niyama. side. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, local, local. Okay. And the other, the one in between, is a desert island, or there's a resort. Like you have no, local no, island here. Empty islands, yeah. okay, desert. Amazing room. Yep, two rooms this this room. So thank you Aslan for this more tour. And now we are going back. So lucky. <laughs> the villa was amazing, right? Okay, starting getting a little bit warm. And he told me, well, everyone knows that November is not supposed to be that nice, the weather. But here I have to say, we got very, very lucky. Okay, time to go back. I will try to catch the bus, which is funny. And then I'll leave. But hey, I'm not going to walk until the very end of the island to reach my villa. It's too hot. 
let's see if we manage to catch a bus. I found a bus! Well, that was a nice ride. I don't think I would have managed to arrive until my place, honestly. Five for six, magic number. Home sweet home. <laughs> flops here so as I was telling you you just scan this one here and it opens woohoo oh so fresh so here you have the outdoor bathroom slice of heaven. <laughs>